Hey folks, this is episode 15 of Let's Play Stellar Sovereigns. I'm Aaron, and we are starting to dig into building up our empire's population. Um, we started by making a couple of hard decisions in our last episode to reduce our tax rates considerably. Uh, we've also started to colonize a fourth planet um, to give ourselves some more place to move our... Um, colonists as well as to hopefully get a bit more resources going um and i think where we're headed now is we are going to hit a colonial goal for xanthi prime next turn which we're gonna which is going to really uh eat into our finances because um it's going to be an inaugural ceremony um we're also looking to move colonists off of different off of the off of Xanthu, which is pretty much where um, they're all coming from at this point. Um, we are also in the process of, um, up here, getting some resources collected from one of the um, fleets that we took out. Um, that's going to help us, and you can see that it's added a significant amount. In fact, um, it looks like we've gotten 7,000 there. So, so. We're starting to really, um, oh, we've got a research cache of 200,000 from the planet survey that we did, which is going to really help us as well as the uh, rest of the resources we're getting there. If we go over to here to our planet survey, we're now looking at um, what the uh, level two is there on Crux. Uh, it's probably just gonna be something that helps the planet or hurts the planet, not really something that's going to significantly affect us. Um, so, with that said, um, I think what we're going to want to do is we're going to take the first fleet and send it over here to take on Omicron Squadron. Squadron. It's been mildly upgraded, but it is a capital ship, so um, I think it would be good for us to knock this out since it is one of the uh, one of our enemies. And as you can see, they are really building up um, fleets here. And I'm a little concerned that they're going to want to hit to war soon. Um, so I'm going to try to prevent them from doing that, but it'll probably take a good bit of work. And if you look at our own fleets, we have some upgrades going on. Um, and we have kind of moved along a little bit with some of, some of the other um, tech that we have. But um, I don't think we have enough to repel that size of a force. Um, this may actually allow us to now get a um, fourth capital, um, or I may actually look into um, instead getting um, some more escorts. Actually, let's go ahead and do a, do a, a freighter here because I, we haven't looked at our our freight. Yeah, we're we're really picking up a lot of demand on the Elonius to Virgo system. And we need to get a few more transports in there. Our foreign trade um, is definitely lacking as well, but we are getting significant income um, from it, which is helping offset the uh, the choices we had to make last turn. And you can see we're at minus 800,000, uh, um, which is not great by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and our goal is to shift ourselves back up the federal route so that we can see about selecting the Stratocracy. Um, so probably moving up here, maybe a little bit more into the um, total or communism side of things, totalitarian side of things, and we'll see um, how we do. So we have a lot of communiques now. It looks like they have changed government. Um, I'm going to... Um, uh, they, they're mad at us for changing government. They're condemning us. Uh, I'm not going to respond. I will agree for, to that. They are praising us for changing our government type. Um, we're getting close to where they're going to demand tribute. Um, I don't really have the funds to do that, but they are much stronger than we are, so I really uh, am want to be careful, and I may end up doing that. It kind of is a weird type of non-aggression pact. 
Okay. Let's see. We'll move forward. And we have an inaugural ceremony. So this inaugural ceremony increases population growth absolutely massively uh, and increases approval gain, which also helps with the um, overall um, population growth. So that is adding about 25,000 people per turn, um, which is going to cost us a lot of money. Um, but I think we have plenty of jobs, so we'll be able to manage the uh, influx of uh, colonists. And once we're done with some of this, that will also allow us to switch back to um, more a higher tax bracket, which will help us, um, I think, in the long run here, or help us to uh, really... Um, capitalize on the uh, additional population we've um, developed in this last episode and, and this and this one. Okay, so that's all coming along well. Virgo is at 8,000 with 3,000. Okay. Um, yeah, let's... Um, Let's go ahead. And drop 2,000 settlers here. And... Koei 2 is still doing its thing. Um, again, this is one of the reasons why using the uh, governor is really slow at development compared to what we're doing here. So Koei 2, we've had colonized for a very long time, and it's just now at 3,500, whereas with moving the population over Virgo 2, which we colonized earlier in our, our last episode, is already out, has a much higher population than they have. Okay, Elonius is doing good, so let's um, put the rest of the uh, population there. Yeah. They're really starting to um, push towards the uh, demand tribute end of things. We have another freighter, so we'll move um, that over here. This might be a pirate, or might not. We'll find out. Okay. Nothing interesting there, so we'll move on to the second planet in the um, Crux system. Interesting. We're not going to be able to do anything. Okay, we got a uh, little bit of tech salvage, salvage as well as uh, the resource salvage. Um, okay, they were able to escape. So, um, looks like it's time to uh, send our fleets back and prep to take out the um, sectoids.
It's unfortunate I can't get them. I would like to knock that fleet out. I think I will boost this one turn more. Um, it's going to, again, it's costing us a lot of money, but it is also significantly boosting our um, colonists, which I find more useful at this point. Okay. That's good. Oh, they're trying to take me out here. Wow. They have got a lot of upgrades on here. Um, so some of this tech is even... Um, yeah, this is uh, machine AI tech. Which means they've taken out some of the machine fleets. Okay. I might still be able to do something with that. Let's uh, see what happens here. Okay, we need to now cut back on our development. At this point, our population grows is back down because we've finished the inaugural event, so we'll um, let's see, 1,000. We'll do that. That will slowly build us towards it, not cost a lot of funds. Hmm. Okay, we got our survey, stage two, nothing else. Let's uh, see here, where do we want to move on to? Okay, I think I'm going to head over here to Luxor. That's going to take me a long time, or, or sorry, Percy. But we have friendly forces over there. I think they may have colonized that. We may be able to get that uh, ship that's there as well, if there is one. Okay, cool. Oh, it looks like uh, our friends here. The, uh, where are they? The First League is trying to hit that Omicron Squadron as well. I'm fairly damaged, but looks like they've got... They, could, they can probably take that one ship out. Okay. Let's do this. Send them back there. We will respond and agree. Pushes us a little bit for further forward to the joint pack or joint victory. Um, we will uh, start building at populist society. Getting close to getting extended magazines. Okay. 
I'm still not, uh, we're still, we're, we're on the, we're in, uh, the green now with our income, which is good, which means I think that we are, um, starting to overcome the lower tax rate and we're still maintaining a much better, um, looks like growth rate than we did before. Hmm. Okay, Virgo, we have 13,000, 5,000. Okay, let's uh, pull in some um, additional colonists here. Uh, two, six, eight, so. Okay, that brings us to eleven five. So we could do another thousand more here. Let's bring us to twelve five. Good. Um, Virgo, we can probably dump about 4,000 into, I think. Yeah. Oh, we're getting a lot of, a lot of folks here. It's good. I thought I destroyed all of that. Oh well. Keep cost. We're finally in positive here. Um, where are we at? 18% tax. I think once we're done with the extended magazine, it might be time for us to boost things. So, Elonius, 102. Um, yeah, we should start adding here. We're getting close on our food, so, um, we're going to go ahead and increase this to level two, which will give us another hundred thousand. Um, and then... Where goes at max? No, maybe not. 71. No, there at max. Koei is at. Not at max, but I can't really move anything in because of how that's done. So we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, leave that alone. So we're there. Okay, we have, looks like, and they are, looks like they've got two fleets here. So six ships, one very damaged, but okay. But two torpedo cruisers, that's, that's good. I think this will probably be worth doing, so I'm going to send another ship there. My uh, my third fleet. Okay. So everybody should be there now. So let's uh, send the first, second, and third fleets over. I wonder. Hopefully that will be enough. And I'll be able to take them out. <laughs> One of these days we'll get over to the sectoids. <laughs> yeah, they are really pushing, so... We'll withdraw again. We're going to agree to that. So we're getting... Slowly over there. Let's see. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and boost this to finish that out, uh, the uh, extended magazine out. Hmm. I really wish the uh, partial research indicator was a better he than this. I've got a good amount. I've got 45% here, but I can't hardly see it because of the way that it looks. Okay. I think where we need to go is here. And we'll go ahead and build that mining station here. That'll start getting much more resource uh, resources for us, um, which will be helpful. And that we can upgrade those stations to increase the effectiveness that we're getting. Double check our planets. Seems to be in good form. I'm tempted to move and re um, drop the food processing center because I don't think I need it as much here. I'm not exporting as much food as I thought I was going to have to uh, because we're building this. Um, hopefully we have enough people come in before that becomes a problem. Uh, Virgo to 14,000, let's do 2,000. Nope, we're not gonna do 2,000, we're gonna do 1,000. Um, I think, where's oh, Virgo 2, we're going to need to, need to add another 100 onto that to make up for the amount of population we're bringing in now. Koei 2 is still doing Koei 2 things. Virgo 3, I can bring in... Let's actually just bring in 4,000. I think we're going to have to boost that up as well. Trade. Yeah, we're foreign. We need to get some better transports and add them in. You can see here our um, allies are adding in some transports as well to help with the uh, trade route. Okay. Let's see what happens. If I can really catch these two fle- Nope, they ran away. Oh well. Let's uh, send everybody back here and we'll get on to uh, killing sectoids. We've finished our extended magazines. Um, what would be useful for us to do next? Trident launcher could be helpful. We've upgraded those plenty. Now we're relying a lot on lasers, so let's um, see about boosting. Yeah, let's boost our lasers here. Wow, we're at, man, 
Can we handle that? You can see with our two uh, research agreements here, we are getting um, about 160% boost, which is allowing us to put in, get way more out of research than we're putting in. Normally, if I was able to get a better research planet, this is where I'd like to be with just one planet. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not in a place for that at the moment. Okay. How are we doing? Still doing good. Total population is going to be 1.8 million here, so I think we're doing good. Um, Virgo 3. Yep, doing good there. Mm, we're getting very low on our income. Koei 2 is making money, but you know, very slowly. Three, fourteen, two. Um, let's go ahead and add extra here because now we don't need two thousand. Need five hundred. Um, gonna need to start improving our industrial sector or adding a development center, which will give us a significant boost. Uh, but I don't have enough funds for that. Uh, I think now might be a good time. Uh, so do I want to sell 10k? Yeah, I'll sell 10k of our um, titanium alloy. Get a little bit of fun to boost here. The research complete, we get a little bit more, a few more points, so that's helpful. Not quite enough to pull too much in yet. When we do switch to Stratocracy, it's going to significantly drop our base population growth rate and some of our agricultural output. So we're going to need to be careful that it's not going to impact us in a way that will cause uh, too many problems. Um, we'll see what happens when we get there. Um, okay. The AI in this game is not perfect but it's also not bad like it was able to identify that you know my three fleets were probably not something it wanted to fight and remove itself back to the, their planets uh so they couldn't uh so i couldn't hit them okay let's do cultural enterprises here um that will give us a boost we aren't going to run out of food anytime soon That'll give us a significant income boost here. Um, and let's do the same here. That might, won't give us as much of a boost, but I think it'll still be useful. So we are getting about 18k for the uh, entertainment tax. We have still... Man. Oh, it's the trade approval that's killing us here. They, they want a lot of stuff, and I don't have the, the freighters to be able to handle that, and it's going to um, be problematic. So... We'll go with that, and then I think we're going to need to punch up through um the trade r trade routes here to get to the mega freighter and then cargo miniaturization which will help us um really uh handle some of the higher amounts of um income that, that we need or um, trade desire that we have there to fulfill it 
Okay. It's taking a long time to get there. We have our mining station constructed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add the refinery because the refinery costs a lot of resources to do, but that will um, help boost us considerably what we're getting with 100% for each one of them. Okay, good. Moving on. We now have level two, and that means we can now bring in, how many people are we getting per turn? 1,400, so let's bring in 3,000. Okay. They're going to be very unhappy soon. <laughs> but if we can keep pulling people in there, that'll help. Uh, Virgo 2, 15, 18, 5. Let's uh, put... Let's uh, put 2,000 here. Starting to... Uh, build out the um, employment sector for the um, industri industry now. So I think that's doing pretty good. We'll start putting a few jobs in there soon. And let's see. I think I can put 3,000 here. Good. Just a slight bit more into populist society. Uh, it's going to take us. Uh, we're going to have to do some um, some significant work to really get to a place where. Um, okay, everybody is here. So uh, I think now is a good time. Send everybody to Aphrodite. And then next turn, I will go ahead and send the mining fleet over. I think then the um, last thing, that'll be the last thing that we do for uh, this is fight the sectoids here. Mostly because fighting sectoids is going to be a significantly different experience. Um, Sectoids don't have shields. Oh, man. And they've now managed to make it to the demand tribute stage. That's not good. I don't have really good funds to do a lot here. Um, so we're almost to the high yield on the... Um, looks like we should get it in... Yeah, that should get it to us in one turn. Which should be, I mean, we should upgrade that by the time we get here to fight the sectoids. Yep, and there's research complete. Um, yeah, let's leave our um, research. Let's start doing a tiny, tiny bit in here. Maybe... 200,000, let's, uh, let's try to move to more like 5%. So 398, that still gives us a good income. Yep, they're going to demand for a tribute. Um, I'm going to dismiss their diplomatic event. I'm not going to take any trip, give them any tribute. They'll probably ask a few more times, but hey. Let's take out these uh, sectoids. Looks like uh, we've got one damaged already, which is good, so... Let's see where we're starting. 
Sectoid fleet is over here. Ah, good. They've got some damage on the uh, front there. That's, that'll be helpful. So, uh, we do have a short battle, so I guess we won't quite get this taken care of this, uh, this round. Um, we have several... Um, let's... Uh, See what we're doing here. They're all good. I'm going to call that second fleet two, one, three. Um, um, select ev select them. Let's go ahead and get get everybody um, shields up. Get all of our um, uh, stuff going here. We'll boost shields um, and then set our waypoint. Yeah, here. That should get us to intercept the um, sectoids. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's drop your engines considerably. These little guys are very quick. I'm gonna have to pull them back. They're moving too fast. For the most part, I want these to take more of the uh, damage. I wish I could set guard orders to, like, somehow keep the fleets together better. Now these guys actually need their engines boosted because they are annoyingly slow. going to be able to get to the combat this time around. Um, but I think we're in position to uh, finish this um, quickly here in the next turn. I'll go ahead and advance and do that. Uh, quarry fleet's probably going to arrive, which is going to be frustratingly annoying. At least they'll be there. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Our okay, so we are actually quite close to combat. Um, the sectoids seem to have advanced to here, um, so that's, so sectoids are, go are going to be really interesting for us, um, let's go ahead and, it's like my, uh, tactical groups got lost, that's unfortunate, wish those had, uh, stayed over. Okay. Get all of our missiles charged, all of our torpedoes charged. Um, let's do auto weapons, fire at will. Um, they can be auto tactical. He can be auto tactical. He can be auto tactical. These guys don't have anything. So let's uh, move forward. Um.
Any second now, we should be getting um, them in range. Yep, there we go. We now have contacts. Let's uh, target. On our, uh, so if you notice, they've got fighters that they're trying to launch, but our missiles are pretty much taking them out. Um, and that takes care of the sectoid fleet. Okay, that's good for us because now we can finally see what, you know, we can gain here at Aphrodite. It looks like there's a wreck um, as well as the three planets. So that's probably something we really want to focus in on. Um, we'll go ahead and quickly get all three of our fleets working on this. Um, and I think this is probably a good place to end this episode. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.